Now, ever since the Washington Commanders have hired Adam Peters, have hired Dan Quinn and Cliff Kingsbury, and basically revitalized the entire front office with the coaching staff, they have been on an absolute killing spree, signing 11 potential brand new starters for next season, as well as a bunch of of role pieces at one and everybody is enamored with what they have done so far however with that being said their work is nowhere near complete they hold the number two pick in the nfl draft and we just got through two nfl or not two but a lot of the nfl draft pro days and there is a lot to discuss however with that also being said we just got some breaking news we just saw someone maybe potentially accidentally leak something huge that could tell us what the commanders are about to do in this year's nfl draft now in this video we're going to break down that video i'm going to show it to you we're going to talk about it we're also going to look at some of the draft prospects some game film also their pro day film and i want you guys to tell me who you want the commander's quarterback to be before we jump into the video though do me a big favor and comment down below a letter grade for the signings that they've made i mean you added nick allegretti super bowl champion tyler b from the dallas cowboys zach Ertz, austin eckler dorrance armstrong bobby wagner frankie louvu jeremy chin michael davis dante fowler i mean this team is so much better than they were last season they just need a quarterback. Now let's let's look at this quick little video. Now obviously with Jaden Daniels concluding his pro day, he looked like an absolute stud. You can tell the man has the ability to just sit in the pocket and throw dimes, right? But also at the same time has the ability to make plays on his legs and is probably the most dynamic playmakers in this year's NFL draft at the quarterback position an intermediate assassin that's what they like to call him a guy who can really sling it over the middle sling it in the intermediate routes very very accurate he is slim but has been productive at that size i think he will be fine i mean look at what lamar jackson has done he's built up a little bit from there but lamar jackson Jaden daniels very similar type of players um but at the end of the day Jaden daniels impressed me so many intriguing tools and talents to utilize if he de develops the right way this is going to be qb1 for a long time but then there was drake may now at the very same time drake may actually came out and impressed me you know before his pro day i was like i don't know what to think about drake may but listen he commanded the pocket very well he showed a lot of leadership traits definitely identified his mistakes early and corrected them right after which i thought was huge i also think he's a type of player that can sit the first season and then start to break out in year two i do believe that is something he can do um you know his vertical game with the play action can probably change the game with his arm strength um and, and he obviously moves in the pocket so fluidly he just flicks his wrist and makes it look so easy just throwing dimes so at the same time i do love Jaden daniels i do think drake may had a really good pro day but who do you guys think the quarterback should be for the Washington Commanders come day one? Now, with that being said, we're about to take a look at a little bit of a leaked video. Not really a leaked video, but someone got interviewed and said something that could change everything here with the number two pick overall for the Commanders. Now, before we get into that, subscribe if you're new. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. So let's get right into that little clip. He, he is going to be so committed to taking care of himself um, that you don't have to worry about size or he doesn't weigh enough. Uh, Lamar's done a pretty good job with his size. I think uh, Mahomes, I wouldn't consider him a giant because he's going to get the ball out to the playmakers and, and make plays uh, for Washington. Yep. Real quickly, tell me what you guys think about that clip. Is it nothing? Is it something? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But also, do me a big favor. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It is free. Doesn't cost anything. As well as hit the like button. If this video gets over 400 likes, I'm telling you, more Commander's videos this weekend. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get right back into the video. Now, I also want to play you guys a clip of what Jaden Daniels said after his pro day potentially playing for the commanders right but we all heard that clip lsu's coach said something along the lines of you know he's going to be a playmaker for washington now maybe that means nothing maybe that means something right um at the end of the day i think there has to be some sort of communication between uh, the commander's front office and lsu's coaching staff where they said yeah we really do like jay and daniels and we want him on our team i mean he is so 
so, you know, solidified in Jaden Daniels going to Washington. And if he wasn't, he would have never said Washington's name, right? But I think there might have been some sort of confirmation in there, or it might be nothing. But check out this clip from Jaden Daniels after his pro day talking about the commanders. Commanders, mm -hmm. what, would the, what would that feel like? Have you got a chance to talk to them? And what would, what would that be if it happened that way? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's a great feeling getting blessed. Uh, blessed enough to be picked that high. Um, obviously, you know, what they're doing already got a new regime and everything like that. So, you know, as, as the process goes on, you know, we'll have more conversation with everything. Um, but from there, it's, it's really just getting into that work. Whoever drives me, um, like I said, just an organization that believes in me and, you know, thinks I could lead them to, so, to uh, Super Bowls. Yeah. Now, when it comes to Drake May or Jaden Daniels, I think both would be good fits. I just think there's a higher potential with Jaden Daniels, his ability to run with the football and also his leadership, the way he plays football. The man is one of the most hardworking players in all of college football, and I think it's going to translate right to the NFL. So when you talk about a guy who can make you know every throw, a guy who can scramble outside the pocket and make big time plays happen, I think Jaden Daniels is that guy. And then you just look at the fact that the man wakes up at 4 a.m. and gets in the gym and works every single day. I mean, the work ethic is there for Jay Nanos. But Drake May, uh, listen, I'll give you this. He looked good as well. Looked really good. Made some really good throws. Commanded, was a leader. Um, you know, whenever he made a mistake, he made sure to correct it right away. So at the same time, I do see the potential in Drake May. But let's actually break down some game film for both these guys and see where they stand in our eyes. Now, I want to break down some film to you guys. I want to show you some of these plays that I've, you know, broken down the film on. From Jaden Daniels, this dude is going to be insane. Let's look at him. Jaden Daniels is one of the most impressive prospects I've seen at the quarterback position in a very long time. And now he's in a draft where he's not even projected to go number one. That's Caleb Williams. But now there are rumors that he might not even go number two, which I think would be a mistake. Now, I want to show you guys some film as we look at some of his plays, when he throws over the middle, the man is very high IQ. Now, in this first play, what we see here right away is two deep safeties, okay? So now keep in mind here, we need to understand what the defense is running. So boom, quick snap. What he's going to do is read the safety, okay? You're going to see the safety slightly bite up, and then this safety immediately runs to the middle of the field. Now, what does that look to you? cover three zone defense you got a blitzing linebacker boom this guy rotating out so now you gotta you gotta cover three right so you got one deep safety over the middle you got your uh two boundary quarters going out to the sidelines right and then you got three guys over the middle creating this wall uh a middle a mid read a hook curl and a hook curl right so boom what does that tell us the middle of the fields are open if you can fit it in those areas Boom, right here, we get a crosser. Look at this throw by Jay, uh, Jay and Daniels. Gets it right on the money. Boom, leads him in instead of, you know, down the field. Instead of getting hit by number 10 hard, he's able to then make a play after the catch as well. Now, if you guys didn't know, there's been a ton of news spiraling about where Jaden Daniels is probably going to go. There's been the Commanders, the Patriots at three, the Raiders trying to trade up, right? And now there's a lot of hype about J.J. McCarthy. So he might not even go number two. Whoever lands Jaden Daniels is going to find a stud. Now, in this video, I also want to break down some film, but also, if you guys didn't know, his pro day is today, which means in a few hours from now, once his pro day has concluded, we're going to break it all down. We're going to show you guys everything you need to know about his pro day and everything later on, all right? So make sure you guys subscribe. It's free. doesn't cost anything. And again, pro day video will drop later on today. Now, in this play specifically, you get a corner blitz here. Again, you got to be able to read the defense and what they want to do. So you see these two linebackers get over to their zones. Uh, we got a mid read here, hook curl here, and then a guy playing a little bit of a, of a you know a vertical hook as well. So we see this crosser going over the middle. The one thing you notice about Jaden Daniels is he reads the top safety. It would be a risky throw to throw this crosser uh, because you have a linebacker here, a safety here. But then what does he do? He looks onto his next progression, right? Now, whenever you look left, you're gonna force guys like this linebacker to go left as well. You see how Jaden Daniels is really, really forcing this left look. Watch this linebacker play move. Now he's rotating to the left side. Boom. Let's fire over the middle. Now that the linebacker has moved, dot. This is what you want to see out of your quarterback. And we heard in the beginning, 
This man's preparation is everything. He wants to win every football game, and that really does matter in the NFL. To see how he, he utilizes versus a defense, I do want to slow this down just a little bit. Now, the first thing I want to show you here is we have one deep safety, okay? Now, when we're trying to find open guys on the field, we want to make sure the safety is away from our, uh, you know, our intended target. So what he does right away is start off looking left. He wants his safety to stay on the left side of the hash mark, right? But he's also wanting to throw it to the right side, which opens up the deep middle of the field, right? So boom, that's the first thing you notice. And then we have an edge rusher screaming in, or actually maybe an interior edge rusher getting in here. Boom, steps up in the pocket. Beautiful. Now turns his head, looks at this man right here, maybe wants to get the safety down here or on this guy for a second. Boom, but then continues looking right. And now we're getting our guy open, stands still, fires a bullet with pressure in his face absolute dime gets him down the field for a massive pickup and these are the type of things that he can add to your football team but not only that he's a guy that can get outside the pocket and make plays or extend plays with his legs as well and look at this dime look at this dime down the middle of the field absolute perfect perfect positioning on that football Guys, I'm telling you, Drake May is the type of guy that can change your offense. And then one thing we, we looked at in the pro day was his play action ability to roll out to the right, step back, and fire a bullet. This is what he was doing. Again, making different reads, changing where the defense is looking, changing where the defense is headed, right? So on this play specifically, boom, let's drop back. We know our targets to the right side of the field. Let's actually look left for a second. Let's look over the middle here and then let's fire right, right? Nobody is going to get over there. Everyone's running to the left side of the field and boom, there it is. Absolute money maker of a throw. Uh, maybe overextends him, but in the NFL, it's a touchdown because it's not, you know, down immediately. And again, play action fake. I think Drake May can be so versatile with his arm, his IQ, the way he moves in the pocket, the flick of the wrist. Everything is just so perfect when it comes to Drake May's offense. This dude is incredible. I'm so excited to see where he ends up landing in this year's NFL draft. Now, obviously, there is still a lot of time left before the NFL draft, and who knows who the Washington Commanders, Adam Peters, Dan Quinn, will end up wanting to take at number two. Hell, maybe it's J.J. McCarthy, right? But at the end of the day, I think they have, they're in a prime position to take one of three or four different quarterbacks here. Even if they want to trade down and get a guy like Michael Penix, I think would be good. But with that being said, I think you have to take... I think you have to take a guy like Jay and Daniels or Drake May. I, I think those are your two options at number two. Um, unless you're really, really confident in a guy like JJ McCarthy, maybe trade down a little bit. But man, I think they're in a prime position to really, really get this uh, you know team up and running. Dan Quinn, such a player-friendly coach. You know, Cliff Kingsbury is an offensive genius, gets his quarterbacks in the best positions. Imagine he, him having a, uh, you know, a, a dual threat quarterback in Jane Daniels. I can only imagine how good that will be together. Um, and then you look at everything they've done in, in free agency. This team is ready to fight. This team is ready to compete for the fans. And I think they're about to, uh, you know, suddenly get back into action of being one of the best teams in this division. Now, uh, make sure you guys do me a big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, turn on post notifications. So you're notified every time we post a video. More Commanders video is going to be out for the rest of the season. I'm, tr I'm telling you right now. We got draft videos coming out. We got post-draft videos, training camp, mini camp, everything you can think of. Got you guys covered. So join the family, and I'll see you in the next uh, Commanders update. Peace.